Welcome to the video and today we're going to be talking about how to make your picture sharp. Now there's three ways to do this. The first way and the way that I would recommend is just increase your shutter speed. And what that is, is the time that it takes the sensor to scan all the pixels and put out an image. So you can adjust this in fractions of a second. What I found is that for landscapes, in general handheld shooting, one two hundredth of a second generally works fine. But if you're shooting something that goes fast, for example, birds, wildlife, or you're shooting out of a car window, you'll need to increase that as much as you can. Now the problem with this is, that it decreases the exposure. So what happens is the sensor will take that frame in that amount of time, so like one eight thousandth of a second. That means that only that amount of light is hitting it. The longer your exposure is, the more light will hit the sensor, and therefore increasing the brightness of your pictures. One thing to note is if you just want to take it to the extreme, like 30 second exposure, you will need a tripod. Otherwise, your pictures will look like this, and that really will not work. Another note is that the wider angle lens you're shooting with, the lower your shutter will need to be to counteract your hand movements. So for example, this shot was taken at 1 100th of a second, and you can see is quite sharp. And this shot was taken at the same speed at 1 100th of a second, but was shot at 200 millimeters. One was at 18, and one was 200. You see the difference? So the more zoom you have, the more your shutter speed will need to be increased. Now, you can get away with a really low shutter speed, like this shot at 1 10th of a second, and I need to do that because I didn't have a tripod and I wanted to get a really good clean shot of this. So if you stand really still, it kind of can work sometimes at a wide lens, or if you need to, you can always set up your camera on the ground or something to keep it steady when shooting at night. Now in the daytime, this normally isn't a problem because of how bright it is, and you can crank up your shutter speed to like 1 8,000th, 1 16,000th, no problem, and your pictures will look good. This mainly applies to at night, and in low lighting conditions, where you need to have more light hitting the sensor. So you can always lower your shutter speed or increase your ISO, it's up to you. I prefer to kind of meet in the middle, maybe decrease to 1 100th or 1 50th, but you have to be really careful when doing that. And it's always nice to have a backup shot in case that one doesn't work, either of the same shot at those settings, or another shot that just has a higher ISO. Another way to address this problem is to get a brighter lens. For example, this lens, I'm not shooting at it right now because it's so bright, but it goes down to f1.8. So the lower your f-stop, the more light, the higher you can increase your shutter speed. And that's why lenses with a low f-stop are called fast lenses. Because the number is so low, you can increase your shutter speed to compensate, making your camera shoot pictures technically faster. Okay, so that's the basics of shutter speed. Now let's talk about the second way to make your picture sharp. And that, again, relates to the lens. Sharper lenses will make your pictures more sharp, and generally higher quality lenses have lower f-stops and better glass, resulting in cleaner photos. For example, this Sigma 18-35 f1.8 is a really good example of a good sharp lens that is wide open. I have no problem putting this lens on a 6K or 8K sensor, and it just looks great. Also, at f1.8, it allows in a lot of light, so depth of field is pretty blurry, and you can shoot in low light, no problem. Now, f1.8 is achievable for wider lenses, but zoom lenses will need to be a lower number because of their focal range. So generally, a good zoom lens will be at f2.8. And cheaper lenses are usually a lot higher numbers. For example, kit lenses are usually 3 to 8, so it just varies a lot depending on the lens and the conditions that you're shooting. One more thing about lenses is the higher f-stop you have, the more that's in focus. So if you want to have your like a landscape shot that's all in focus, you'll need to shoot at like f32, and that will make the whole thing in focus. But to compensate, if it's too dark outside, you'll have to increase your shutter speed. The best thing I could say you could do if you want to get a really long exposure beyond about half a second is you need a tripod. If you put it on a tripod, get a remote shutter so you can either like plug a trigger into the camera or use touch shutter. So that's like, for example, on the Canon EOS R7, you can enable something called touch shutter and basically you can set it up and then just touch anywhere on the screen and it will take the picture. And that will stop the camera from moving, which is very necessary for long exposures. And then the third final thing is just to increase the sharpness afterwards in the software. But I would stay away from this as it tends to make your photos look a little bit too harsh and not really realistic. Maybe a little bit's okay, but generally it's something that you can do, but probably shouldn't in most situations. Anyway, that's it for this video. If you have any questions or comments, leave it down below and I'll get an answer to you. One last thing before I go is leave a like on this video. It's just one click and it really helps the channel out. And thank you for watching.